We will soon find out what will happen with Elmira's first arena. After the county moved in and got rid of its former managers, our right, news reporter Nick Dabina joining us from First Arena with what we know right now. The front door here at First Arena has been locked since the Elmira Mammoth played their last home game more than a month ago. Ever since then, many people have been wondering if hockey will be coming back to Elmira. Well, now we could be days away from finding out. Good morning. My name is uh, Craig Rancher. I used to be an employee at the uh, now defunct First Arena. At a public meeting of the Chemung County Industrial Development Agency, former employees of First Arena and season ticket holders stood up to voice their concerns. And we're looking for roads moving forward to take legal action against Mr. Donner to retrieve our money. I've been hearing rumors of pro team coming back this fall. Um, I hope it does. I think it is frustrating for a lot of people that are hockey fans. You don't know from year to year. Is there going to be a team? Is there not going to be a team? The Chemung County IDA then moved closer to answering that question. Yeah, there was some discussion on the arena to allow for us to negotiate certain options for some new, uh, some new tenants or people in that building. What can you tell us about the future or any options that may be considering? Is it too early to talk? But what can the people know at this stage? Yeah, what I'd like to say is, uh, as Mr. Martison, our chairman, had mentioned in the meeting, there's a lot of options that are under consideration. We're working very hard on it. Um, and Mark will have, uh, I don't know where he went, but he will have some comments, uh, more comments in the future as soon as he possibly can. We reached out to the CEO of Mammoth Sports and Entertainment, Steve Donner, to ask about the status of ticket refunds. He told us 46 season tickets were sold, mostly with partial payments. We asked him for the total dollar amount. He told us he would have to check with his lawyer first. 18 News has learned that number could be as high as $18,000. In a statement, Donner told us the refund policy will be announced when final direction of the arena is announced. Before Donner took over the arena, Robbie Nichols was in charge as the owner of the Elmira Enforcers. What would you like to see happen at First Arena? I would like to see people that know the arena business be in the arena business. You know, I've heard before the county shouldn't be in the arena business. I don't know why they continue to be. Now all of this is playing out as the IDA accuses Mr. Donner of owing more than $200,000 in unpaid utility bills. Mr. Donner accuses the IDA of breaching the lease for what he calls negligent maintenance. Now you can read much more on our website, that's mytwintears.com. In downtown Elmira, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News.